just it was no question he was going to be a legendary figure an exceptional human being and artist who loved and cared for his fans above everything else to lose someone so kind and so close to our hearts is devastating juice world was such an amazing artist at such a young age he made a total of four albums and recorded over 2,000 songs, most of them only being released on SoundCloud. He started freestyling and rapping when he was a freshman at Homewood Flossmore High School in Chicago, when one of his friends made a radio show just to put Juice's work out there and became well known around his school for his freestyles. He later on started working in Envion Recording Studio to record his music, which is where Hurt Me, Moonlight, and the famous Lucid Dreams was recorded. He started to spark to the world when he collabed with Lyrical Lemonade for a music video for his first smash hit, All Girls Are The Same. To this day, it has over 200 million views and over 2 million likes on YouTube. Juice World and Lyrical Lemonade later collabed to make more music videos for tracks like Lucid Dreams, Robbery, and his newest song, Bad Boy. Most listeners know him from Lucid Dreams since most people could relate to it as it was about Juice missing his ex-girlfriend and all the drugs and lucid dreams he had after their breakup. Since these two songs were so popular, he decided to release an album with these songs in it called Goodbye and Good Riddance at the end of 2018. The following year, he released the Death Race for Love album in the middle of March. He later said that he freestyled and recorded all 22 songs in a total of three days. This album went platinum as his fans were in love with songs like Empty, Fast, and Flaws and Sins. They were in love with lines like, but it's okay cause I'm rich, psych I'm still sad like a My world revolves around a black hole, the same black hole that's in place of my soul. I'm all, I'm really all in, in love with all your flaws and sins. Your scars are really gorgeous, is that a weird way to give compliments? Then shockingly on December 8th, 2019, Juice World accidentally overdosed on oxycodone and codeine in Chicago's Midway International Airport. The entire world was in shock as no one saw it coming. He just turned 21 six days prior. People later thought that he potentially predicted his death, as in his song Legends, he said, What's the 27 club uh uh up? We ain't making it past 21. And in All Girls Are the Same, he states, really feel like John Lennon, as John Lennon died on December 8th, 1980. After his death, his production crew continued on his legacy as they released an album called Legends Never Die in the summer of 2020. They also released some of the songs before the full album came out, like Righteous, Tell Me You Love Me, as well as Come and Go, a day before the album's release date. Everyone was in love with all of the songs, but everyone got really emotional when they heard these lyrics from Wishing Well. But let's be for real, if it wasn't for no pills, I wouldn't be here. But if I keep taking these pills, I won't be here. Many people were touched by his freestyles and all of the songs Juice and his crew has released. He just had talent. He just had it, yeah. you know. And once, you know, he became like the freestyling guy and people knew what he could really do. I mean, it was just, it was no question he was going to be a legendary figure. Juice World is an artist that will live on for a very long time and will stay in this generation's heart for as long as it lives. Just because of the huge impact he had in such a short amount of time um i know he will live on through our generation 100 percent, and i'd say through the generation after and the generation after but after that generation i don't i can't i can't guarantee a thing so yeah. but i'd like to say he will live on forever in yeah. the music game yeah. yeah as juice would say 999 forever <laughs>